Section 9.6 is going to ask us to find the total lease cost when you lease a car for a certain amount of time. Now, leasing a car is a lot like renting a car. When you lease a car, what you will do is you'll sign a contract with a dealership, a car dealership, for a certain number of months, and they will give you the car for that certain number of months. During that certain number of months, you're going to pay a certain amount per month. They're probably going to make you pay for the number of miles. Um, if you go over a mileage limit for the entire year, they're going to make they're going to charge you so much per per mile above that limit. Uh, there's other things that'll factor in. Sometimes they'll have uh, insurance fees. They may may charge you insurance for it if you don't have insurance of another sort. Um, sometimes there's a deposit. Uh, there's a title fee, license fee. Those types of things will will factor in. So basically, what we're going to do is figure out the total lease cost for a car for the total number of months that you're going to lease it for. So we've got a couple of examples here that will show you how this works. We've got Nadine. She's going to lease a convertible for $4.99 a month. She's going to do it for 36 months. She's going to pay a deposit of $3,000. She's going to pay a title fee of $125 and a license fee of $365. To get the total cost, we're just going to put all of that together. So she's going to pay $4.99 a month. She's going to do that for 36 months. So that's the first thing we're going to do, $4.99 times 36. Every month for 36 months, she's going to pay $499. If we do that, on the calculator, that comes out to 17964 All right, she's also going to pay a deposit of 3000 so we'll add 3000 to that. That takes us up to 20964 Title fee of 125 which gets us up to 21089 I'm going to bring this up here since I ran out of room. And then the last thing we're going to pay is a license fee of $365. When we add that on there, that's going to be $21,454. So for the life of that lease with the uh, car dealership, the 36 months, she can expect to pay about $21,454 for that car. Let's do another example. We've got a luxury car. This time we're going to do 48 months, payments of $599 each month. And then we got our fees on here. So let's start with that $5.99 a month. We're going to do it for 48 months. And if I multiply that out, it's $28,752. We're going to pay a deposit of $749, which is going to get us up to $29,501. Title fee of $15. If you add $15 on there, we're at 29516 dollars And a license fee of $15. Takes us up to $29,531. Total lease cost over the course of those 48 months for this car would be $29,531. Now, there are benefits and drawbacks to leasing a car. The drawback to leasing a car is when, you're, when your months are up, so like this one 36 months, this one 48 months. When those months are up, you have to turn the car back into the dealership unless you buy, the, buy it from them. So all of those payments you made were basically made to the, the uh, car dealership so that you could rent the car for the, that number of months. Okay, That's the drawback to it. All that money you put into the car, you lose and you have to give the car back to the dealership at the end of the uh, contract. Now, the positive thing to a lease is leases are cheaper than actually buying it for the same number of months. So if I lease the car, they're going to give me a better, they're going to give me a lower payment per month than I would if I were buying the car. That's the, the that's positive part of a, of a lease. You're probably going to be able to get into a car that may be a little bit more expensive than you could possibly handle or, or typically be able to afford. But like I said, the drawback is at the end of the lease, you no longer own the car, you no longer have the car, you have to give it back to them. So it's one of those things you kind of have to uh, play with those uh, couple of factors there and decide which one's better for you, buying the car or uh, leasing the car.